Hey everybody, welcome in. This is One Step From Eden and I'm Fly Penguin. We're going to be doing a run today with Terra. I have not yet played her, um, if we're going to check some of the details. She has Entangle, Flurry, Excavate, Mine. Excavate's probably going to be the big thing, firing a missile from broken tiles. There's also Moonstone, which gives us some mana regen for these broken tiles. And then our Tile Breaker itself, Terraform, which is a beam and it breaks four tiles away. We're gonna be running this for the first time, but I'm assuming that she's gonna play like a control mage a little bit more. Um, oh, tangle. Sorry, just tangled up there for a second. Um, I'm assuming she's gonna play like a control mage with some. Um, throw some B down. With some, um, you know, making sure that the field is uh, kind of managed and making sure that enemies stay where you want them to be, um, etc. Gonna just break some tiles real fast and then hit B just to see what it does. So, if I break these tiles, I'm just breaking them just for the, the goodies of it, so we're getting used to it real fast. I don't want I don't want you. I don't want to deal with any of these guys. I'm just entangled. Does that hurt? That does. That does 20 damage. Um, B is a pushback. We have the mine again. Nice little 20 damage. Let's break. I really want to break a few more tiles and then get to use this... Um, Get to use A. Okay, so A does 25 damage per broken tile, which isn't great, um, but I think we're gonna get a few bonuses that are gonna scale up, and then we can always use her beam uh, just for kind of some quick, quick and dirty damage. So snow boots when frost damage is dealt, root the target for two seconds. We're not gonna be doing a frost damage, um, although that would be fantastic if we were playing a slicey. Um, enemies have a chance to explode on death. Why not? And then this cracks adjacent tiles, which seems to be good. I think crack means that once they walk over it, um, oh, it cracks our tiles. Okay. Fire shock from structure, gain 40 shield. Let's do earthen armor. Uh, we're going to gain some flow with this. We haven't really done a flow deck in the past, so time for something new. I would love to help you. We're going to gain some of that. We're going to crack these tiles. It's going to suck, but I'm going to have to take this damage. And then I want to break a few more before I use this. Even though we lost our hostage, um, there we go. So that was the that's the way you use that um, that finisher there. We broke all the tiles and then we hit the um, and then we hit the I can't think what the name of that card is. The excavate, fire a rocket, crack adjacent tiles on flow, fix adjacent tiles. Gain two flow. Okay, so our flow from our previous card from Earthen Armor is going to combo with this one, and then this is also going to give us some flow. But it um, it costs a lot of mana, and this is I think a little bit better. And it's something new. We don't really play with these trimmer kind of spells very often, um, so I'm going to keep it going. All right, so lots of crack tiles, lots of crack tiles. Um, we're going to gain some Earthen Armor, and then we're going to try to entangle. So the crack tiles don't last very long. That's one thing to note. Um, and then we're going to do as much damage as we can with that. So I don't really know how we use the push effectively. Um, there's definitely a way to use it that I have not yet come up with. But that um, excavate is a pretty good nuke for us. So what is it called? Flurry. Hits three tiles up front and pushes targets away. Okay. Um, so it does a lot of damage. 20 by 12 is kind of a good... Uh, 240 flat damage if you can just hit all the bullets i don't really care for that one either gain 10 shield for each broken tile fix everything okay so it kind of nukes all of our broken tiles but it is going to give us um a lot of shield granite sounds amazing that's perfect i wondered if that is completely random or if there's a little bit of behind the scenes rng to get that whenever you're playing terra um so we're gonna run that and get our shield going Gonna try to dodge all these goons. And then we're gonna excavate. Please stop hitting me. Thank you. We're gonna entangle to get rid of some of these guys. Fix all the broken tiles, and now we got some shield. B for the random mine, although the mine isn't gonna do much with these guys. I'm just gonna try to crack some tiles up and some earthen armor. And then honestly, I would really like to just kill this guy. I already did. Alright. She's, she's kind of weird because you're paying attention to a couple of different things at once. Ooh, that was hot. What was that? I think that's the first time we've used. Gain two defense. I think two defense is a little bit better than the spell damage. Um, I could be wrong, but tremor. Fire a rock and crack adjacent tiles on flow. Fix adjacent tiles. Okay. 
So I have to pay attention to the flow meter with her, um, which is something we normally don't do. Hello, shopkeep. I would love to buy none of your things. Uh, we don't really have much money. I could give up some blood, but I don't really know that I'm going to gain it back because I don't have anything that heals me. I just have things that give me... Um, we have things that give me shield, but nothing that gives me health. Uh, if you notice, we have a hearth focus so that we can get some of these um, crack destructions. I don't think there's anything else that would be good for us. Um, Hexawan would almost be bad because then I wouldn't be able to move around with all these turrets in the way. Uh, and then all of the other ones seem to be just kind of equally whatever. So we're just going to keep them as they are. Um, the, oh, I meant to grab maybe a pact. Um, there we go. Enemies have a 50% chance to fire a missile on hit, gain 5 luck. Lose 2 max mana, gain 5 luck. So if we want some luck, that'd be good, but uh, luck makes things harder as well as making it um, making your drops better. And to be completely honest, um, harder is not what we need right now. So we're going to crack some tiles and then use that. Nope. Oh, I did not save her in time. Uh, just do the damage with that bad boy. Crack, 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 crack. I'm going to shuffle, because I don't really care about either of those, and the mine is unlikely to hit him. There we go. So it really looks like our damage is going to be... Ooh, we can get... Let's go with Fracture. Um, it looks like our damage is going to be primarily um, coming from that bolt. What is it called? Tremor? Uh, I don't really need the heal, <laughs> which is what the flavor text is as well. Um, we're gonna go with the poison vial. Never get involved in the land war in Asia. Princess Bride, I believe. Do do do. Let me fix you up. I would love to fix me up. We're also gonna break you, real fast. All right. So I have flow, and I missed that, which is annoying, but it's fine. Uh, I wish I had something that could hurt this guy next to me. Oh, he's he's gonna hurt himself. That's fine. That works for me. Thank you for the. All right, we're gonna break you real fast we've already broken this tile and so we all right so she's trapped um there's nothing i can do but i can heal up we're just gonna have to eat this so i'm cracking tiles around her um i'm trying to just kind of get something that will there we go i'm trying to just get something that will um that like will affect her but i really don't have that much damage yeah see those are those are nope we're gonna have to eat this as well Oh, we can dodge through those. Okay, that's that's new to learn. Um, this is almost like Reva with a shield. I'm just gonna crack the tile under her, and then that should be big damage. And then we're gonna walk through. All right, crack some tiles. We'll queue up this uh, B. And boom. All right, good good damage. Good damage. Then we had flow, so that does a little bit more. Cool. We got a root. We got a rooted. Not that that does that much. Um, I would love if these structures were gone. Thank you, Mr. Structure Man. I'm just gonna do some flat damage to her. Gonna get the pushback. Yeah, okay, so if you crack the tile behind her and then you use the pushback, you're guaranteed to do damage on it, um, which is very cool. We're gonna try to get this uh, A queued up. There it is. Then we're gonna gain some shield. Get more shield. I don't know what these guys do. I think they, oh, they create beams whenever they die. Or not necessarily just when they die, but occasionally. A should do a lot of damage. And then I think we can finish her off with a few of uh, literally whatever the next thing is. Oh, she stepped on the mine. Well done. Well done. I don't think I was built for this. That's fine, but we're going to keep you on our squad. We are a good person in this run. I think Terra seems to be the most um, interesting one we've played so far. Maybe Violet. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go the woods for no reason other than I think that the gunner is really hard, and the gunner is to be honest. Um, I think he's always in the woods. Shinso, Shiso. I don't remember Shiso's thing. I think he's the gunslinger, um, which I have not played as, but I know kind of what he does. Um, okay, so this guy is gaining some shield. We're gonna pop you with that. Then we have flow, so that should hurt pretty hard. Cool. So what does the flow effect do? I gotta kind of remember this one real fast. So fracture casts it twice on flow. So tremor into flow is good. Um, I think that's about it. So tremor into flow is solid. Whenever we have flow, whenever this one's sparkling, cast it. 
Uh, Kinetic Wave gives us some flow as well. Um, but I don't want to muddy up my deck. So we're just going to keep keep moving. Onward we go. Let's go the dark route. Always go the dark route. Free stuff. Free stuff is free. We're going to try to do some damage. Come on. Hit it. Here we go. We finally have a character that can win these hostage traps. That's nice. That's nice. Caltrops? Uh, not for me. Money shot is fine. Just kind of a general good. Uh, but I'm going to keep this deck pretty clean. I'm um, going to try to start doing themed decks. Uh, so for example, this one is Break. Just to kind of get used to... Oh no. So our our um, our guy in front of this cactus just basically killed himself. Because every time you hit the cactus, um, he does yeah he does damage to the rose in front of him. Um, I've trapped myself. Nope. Nope. I will not be doing that anymore. Thank you. We're going to heal up. Or shield up, I guess, rather. We're going to shield up a little bit more. And then we should be able to hurt this guy quite a bit with that because... Nope. Didn't work. Alright, we're going to hit him with an A as soon as I get... Oh, he missed, he missed. Okay, so that can be dodged. Interesting. Oh, he hit the mine anyway. See, sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Cold Stone. We wanted Cold Stone earlier, so we're going to take it now. And that's also going to be another way to gain some flow. I'll just leave this right here. Thank you very much. Press A. Nope. Uh, so we have some flow. We're going to be able to do a lot of damage. I want to make sure I get the hit off, though. And then Cold Stone is also going to do a lot of damage right there. Very cool. Okay. So now we're focusing on this guy. Um, I wish that he would get away from the... I wish that he would get behind that guy. Come on, root, root. Oh, he hit the bomb. He hit the mine. Okay, so the mine's actually coming in kind of lucky for some of these guys. Where's that? Plant a mine on a random enemy tile for 250 damage. And there's a nice little Finding Nemo uh, reference on it. We're going to do Revenge. I think Revenge is good. Um, st like, just based on the statistics and it's double cast. I enjoy any sort of double cast um, spells that we can get for basically for free. I don't have to even pay for the upgrade. And I get hit a lot, so that's perfect. Wind blow, 20 shield, regenerate shield. I think that seems good. I don't know. I think that'll help us quite a few times. Um, deal 10 bonus damage when a hit deals 40 or more damage. Let's do shield battery. Um, I would have done the 40 or more damage if our um, if our main spell, if our main damage spell was doing 40. Oh, no, nope. here it is. Yeah, this one's frustrating. So whenever this chest opens up, it just blasts the whole arena. Thank you for the goodies. Uh, gain four defense, increase shuffle time by one second. I don't know if that is what I want. Increase shuffle time, increase shuffle time. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spells, which I seem to go through once a... We're going to take it. Why not? Um, we're learning. We're still trying to get used to things. On flow, return this to your deck. Anchor. What good does that do? Oh, it's just a bolt that does 60 damage, and then it goes back into the deck if uh, we have flow. So it just kind of cycles. Oh, I think if we had a way for this to create flow, and this was the only thing in our deck, we could just pound this out. Um, but that's not the case. So I'm actually going to skip it for now. I can see the combos that exist. Um, I have too thick of a deck to really be using it, and yes, I said those words. No, they weren't on purpose. Um, B. So we got all the bolts because we broke the tile behind him. If you notice? Yeah, that mine, the odds of that mine hitting him were slim to none. We're gonna use the cold stone. Cold potato. It looks like a potato. Hit enemies back and forth, two tiles in front, gain flow. Spell deals 10 damage for each spell in your deck. Oh, deck slam. Everybody can get deck slam. Uh, on flow, return this to your deck anchor. We just pass that up. We're going to stay consistent here. We're on 2-5. Yep, yeah, let's keep going. All right, Shiso, what you got? Let's crack some crack some tiles. And let's root you. And by that, I mean miss the root. Boom. Oh, we got him with that, though. That's nice. All right, so we're going to try to hit this tile behind him real fast. Nope. Hit the tile behind you. Hit the tile behind you. And then hit you with this one. That's some good damage. Uh, he did make a shuffle though, and we do have the thing in our deck that makes our shuffles take a little bit longer. Look 
at that. Mine right on time. And then he hit us last, so we're gonna get some revenge shots. Nope. We went the same way twice. I will not be participating in that. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna crack some tiles so that this uh, excavate does a good chunk of damage. And now I'll use it. Oh, he, he's on our side of the map. I thought that those were coming back to hit me. I was, I was gonna get a little disappointed. Okay. I will like to hit you, but I can't get on the same row as you. Potato. Missed the potato. Alright, we're just gonna try to stay away from those traps. We're gonna heal a little bit, get some shield. Crack around him, but not on him. And then hit him with B, and miss with B. Gain some shield. So I'm liking this. This is a very weird deck. Um, nope, 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 nope. Very weird deck. Um, try to root. There we go. And then mine. It's it's unfortunate though. Whenever we get the root, and then we don't have anything else to follow up up with, we just pushed him back <laughs> twice. Um, that was nice. All right, all right. There we go. We hit it. We hit him with the potato. Um, if you've played Slave the Spire, or sorry, not Slave the Spire. Um, Subnautica, actually. Um, tell me that. Oh, I can't pull it up right now. Tell me that ability doesn't look like a bladder fish. This one right here, in B. Tell me that doesn't look like a, a roasted bladder fish right now. I would like to hit you with my spells. Get you with the one that deals flow damage. And then I think B. Yep. Okay. Just so that people know what I'm talking about. So that I promise I'm not crazy. Um, let me find my deck. Bladderfish. It looks like a bladder fish. I'm just gonna say it. You quote me on that one. That's what the inspiration was. Everyone knows. All right, we're gonna crack a bunch of tiles. Um, probably both of you are going to die. One of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I am willing to make. And then cold stone them. We saved them both. 10 and 66. Um, and we kept our full health, which was fantastic because of the health that they gave us back. So, Adrenaline, if below 50% health, start battles with 3 spell power and haste. There is literally no downside to that. Um, I don't want jam. We did that before. Uh, I don't particularly want any of these. Pull back half of enemy field. That could be good, actually. Um, it does 40 damage to one enemy. Um, and also, it gains us a little bit of flow. Yeah, let's do, let's do Undertow. The more flow, the better, I think. Um, since we're going with spells that combo with it pretty nicely. Um, I'm just going to stay away from all of those. Do we get do we get extra for pulling him into anything? No, we don't. So that's, that's kind of sad. We're going to heal all of our tiles and get a little bit of shield. Alright, start cracking. Start cracking. And then now B. Yes, the nuke. I love that ability. That's, that's fantastic. So if we crack a bunch of tiles, we can't throw a, um, they can't throw a, there we go. We controlled him, we kept him in his little bubble, and then he wasn't able to move out. If you crack a bunch of tiles, whenever you throw your mine, it actually won't be able to land on anything that's cracked, so you kind of like increase the odds of it just landing on a unit. Launch rocks that break three tiles away until you move break the tile behind you. And that's very interesting. I don't know how you would use it. If it breaks until you move, but it's only breaking one tile, you're not really able to control with it because as soon as you move, it's going to stop. And it costs two mana. I don't see the use of that. Um, tell me I'm wrong, but I don't think that's fantastic. Uh, we're going to just start battles with shield. I think that's much, much more useful. It's basically a free help. Um, all right, so we're gonna start breaking. We know we gotta break, 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 and then we're just gonna deal damage. Ah, those are annoying. They move with you. All right, this should do us some chunk damage. No, 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 no. All right, ah, I hit, the, I hit the barrier. That's annoying. All right, this is the only tile we can sit in. That's fine, we're making enough shield that we're gonna be able to... I really need to get rid of these guys. Um, all right, try to get some mana back. And then we're gonna pull everyone forward. It didn't matter because we have that tile cracked in front of this, uh, I don't know what you call that guy, a lurk rest? Or is he a shark shooter? I think he's a shark shooter. I can see the tile, the titles of them up above. Oof, we took some damage from that, that's fine. All right, yeah, we killed the lurk rest, which is this guy's name. Oh no, there's no nowhere we can go. There is nowhere to hide. Dude, what's your deal? Stop putting these tiles up everywhere. That's my thing. 
that's my thing. We're gonna heal. I really need to break those guys. Um, this ice, killing this ice thing would be fantastic, but I just, I haven't been able to. Um, we're gonna take a lot of damage. Let's try to take as little damage as possible. Um, crack, crack. There we go. All right, so we got that out of the way at least. Um, now we have to deal with these, literally just the ice tiles. Uh, a, not gonna do anything. A, we'll hit them there. I don't know if these hurt us when they land on us. I think they will. Nope, that's not gonna do anything either. What are the odds that this mine actually lands on him? Slim to none? Slim to none. Okay, so if I can break this guy in front of us, I can break and then push him into it. All right, now he's easy. That was annoying. Um, <laughs> for some reason, I'm not super good. Gain 20 money when you kill a hostage. <laughs> I think over the long run, this is gonna gain us more money than Paper Wallet will. Um, just because Paper Wallet is pretty bad. Um, so we're going to just not focus on blood money, but I think we're going to get some blood money just because of the way that, you know, it'd be doing. All right, let's try to pull these guys forward and then we'll try to break him with the snipe. Very cool. Gains three, three spell power. I'm going to lose the max HP. I think I have enough places that will shield that gain me some shield. Um, brute enemies for three seconds in a circle four tiles away. I think I have enough. Um, we're going to skip all these. Enough shield generation to ignore 300 health. I think maybe that's a bit risky. Uh, maybe not. I'm not as good as I think I am. But, you know, for the time being, uh, we're going to feel kind of good about it. We're also going to drop this mine. Nice little critical hit there. And then we're going to use that. That should hurt everybody. And this should try to kill this snow mug the snow machine um, I would like to kill the snow machine and this ice guy I don't really know what you call either of those one of those is an ice cube and then the other one is a snow machine all right we're gonna root everything and that'll do it the, the names of the units are up, the, up in the top right but it's more fun to come up with random stuff for these guys um, although I've been care I've been calling Terra mercy this entire series definitely not her name and she's definitely not a healer i'm really enjoying uh mercy though <laughs> i just said it again i'm really enjoying um i just killed my own thing that's fine i wonder if her shield has to deal with broken tiles so like hold on let's try to trap her in the back there and then yeah we'll get some revenge on her let's break these i would like to kill you thank you smack her with that all right we have some flow but first we're gonna worry about these let's gain some shield so it looks like crack tiles do affect where her um where her magic comes in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen that was basically fire in the flames on expert difficulty i don't know if anyone's aware but that was that was basically as perfect as we could have made that um b there we go big damage big damage her rhythm is funky, but that's fine. We could have gained some shield there. Um, probably played that a little incorrectly, but that's fine. Um, just start breaking tiles to get the the excavate damage up. Oh, she dodged it. She's a legend. She is actually a legend. We're going to hit her with a bladder fish. And you can't convince me otherwise that that's not what it should be called. Let's see, she's moved on to expert difficulty. All right. Healed, but that didn't do anything because I didn't have any broken tiles. You fool. B, a little bit of damage. I really want to get rid of these guys, but I don't have many opportunities to kill things in front of me. Um, or to kill things on my side, rather. Nope. There we go. Alright, so we got out of that. I think in those scenarios, you prioritize the... There we go, drop a mine. It looks like feed her into the mine. She's gonna have to go up there, right? That's all she's got. Oh, I wasn't. There we go, we got the mine on her. So she's very interesting. She she requires just so much, uh, Violet requires just so much like planning on the, um, we're gonna kill all those tiles and gain some shield back. She requires so much planning on the um, positioning, which I guess everyone does, you know, to be fair. So that's that's not exactly like a, a you know, a super crazy, um, observation with the game 
one. Shield, and then mm, revenge. That'll do it. Cool. Music never dies. I agree. We're going to keep you alive. I don't know. I guess there's really not many times when I should kill people. I guess it's an artifact that we gain. Um, maybe there's some sort of hidden mechanic behind. Uh, we're going to go to the dark world. I don't remember the name of you. We only have 700 health, so honestly keeping her alive for the health was not too much of a net gain. Um, but you know, we're, we're, we're not necessarily worried about optimization here. We're worried about learning. And so we're going to... Speaking of learning, we're going to hit this guy with a potato because he needs to learn to stop hitting me. Boop. 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 Hopefully he was the enemy that hurt me last. He was not. So revenge was worthless. Oh! Ho -ho. Sniped with the mine. You know, you could call it luck. You could call it luck. Hits a random row after six seconds. Breaks tiles. can hit self. Okay, so this is going to be huge for us. Um because we're going to be able to use our spells in the middle of that. Um, that will give us health off of healing, or off of, um, or sorry, shield off of broken tiles, or damage off of broken tiles, or whatever. Um, so honestly, I think that's really good. We're going to gain the max mana just so we can keep moving. I think that lets the deck flow a little bit faster. And I'm going to take the dark route again, because we're feeling confident. I really do think Terra is, is a, uh, we're going to, oh no, oh no. She, well, hey, at least we got 20 gold, right? At least we got 20 gold. I don't know what this, this guy does. Oh, it hurt me, okay. So the little triangle guy hurt me. I'm gonna try to break as many tiles as we can before we queue that up. Okay, so first prophecy. Throw the mine out there. Revenge, fortify. Okay, so the, Prophecy heal, hit all of those tiles, and we're going to heal them, and now we got a shield of 350. Not bad. Not great. we got some flow. We're going to whack them with a cold potato. Still trying to learn how to use that prophecy thing. Glitter bomb. Throw a cascading bomb that hits adjacent tiles four tiles away. That's not bad if we were doing a glimmer deck, uh, but we are going to stick to... Oh, as much as I like Anubis, and I like the flat damage... Um, yeah, we'll do it. I can't go. You can't convince me otherwise that this isn't good. It's flat 40 damage across the board. It's AOE. It hits everybody. Um, can't convince me that it's not good. We are going to be trying to take out one of these as soon as possible. Give me the mine. Give me a mine. Give me a mine. There we go. We killed the wrong one. So we healed one, and then we killed one. Um, so we got at least four gold, right? Or how much? 20 gold. 20 money. Uh, gain haste. There's no negatives to that. Fire beams four tiles away, the break tiles. Hit the center tiles of the enemy field and crack them. So breaking a tile or cracking a tile, which is better? This does 40 damage times four. So if we hit the guy on point, um, we do 160 damage. And this is 100 damage if they're just in the middle. We're going to take the aimed one. Um, I think we usually do a pretty good job of aiming. That's normally not the strong suit that or the, the complaint. Um, some of the problems that we're having are not with... I'll break these tiles since I'm not going to be standing on them anyway. Um, I would really appreciate it if... Nope. We're going to go down here. And then we're going to try to kill something with these cracked tiles. Okay, so Prophecy is queued up. It's coming in. It's going to come in hot. There it is. Okay, so now what can I do? I don't have any spells in my hand that will actually combo with that Prophecy. So we, we, if anything, it just kind of hurt us. Although that was good. That was very good damage. And we're going to crack the tile behind you and then hit you with this. Nope, I will not be taking damage from that. Thank you. All right, Saffron. Me and you. Crack all tiles in front and push enemies aside. Gain two flow. That's perfect. That is exactly what we want. We want crack tiles and we want flow. We're not on Saffron yet. We still have to save. Uh, max mana, shuffle time. This would offset that shuffle that we had earlier. Um, gain 50 max HP when you save a hostage, or gain 4 shield every second. As much as I like Diamond Ring, um, this deck can't really survive on having one of the spell slots just empty all the time. So I don't really think this is going to work. Uh, this works much better on like a Chrono or a Saffron. Um, rescue badge is fine. 50 max HP could hurt. We're going to go with that. Why did it say Ha? 
Why did that hurt me? Why did she hurt me? What happened? How did that come to be? Oh, these all cost health. So I didn't notice that, but these all cost health, not um, rescue, rescue patch. Um, we might be in a world of pain. Okay, well, we're not going to be buying anything else then, um, even though these are gold. But let's just, just buy a bunch of those. All right, what are we going to be upgrading? We're going to be upgrading uh, excavate because we that's our big nuke. Apply fragile and hit. Double cast is good. Double cast is good. Blow is sweet. Um, let's do double cast. And then let's upgrade revenge. Oh, revenge is already upgraded. Let's upgrade something that we use a lot and we always get thrown out. So on flow, cast us twice, gain 20 flow. Um, cold stone, fire rock on flow, also cast frost bolt, gain two flow. Let's go with uh, fracture. It's gonna be a little bit more ubiquitous, I think. We're gonna be able to get this out more often. Double cast up the mana cost. 25 chance to leave a flame one hit. Don't really care about that. Twice the damage and consume. I do not want to consume this. I would like to double cast it, please. And then maybe mine? Maybe earth and armor? Let's do earth and armor. Um, it's interesting that the upgrades rarely give us um, bonus 20 shield. Well, that's exactly what I was looking for. It's rare that the upgrades give us just raw upgrades, right? They're usually a little bit more like um, on where we go. They're usually more like an additional effect than a just like a raw upgrade, you know. Um, but I, I kind of understand the point. Um, I'm gonna pull that guy forward a little bit, um, and then we're gonna try to dodge these guys. We haven't been hit yet. No, we have been hit yet. Oh no! No 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 no! If I could if I could crack that tile, try to stay away from these guys. Okay, that should do it. Nope, not enough damage. Um, that's not the guy I wanted to hit with that. I really want to get rid of this laser so that I can open up the map a little bit more. Okay, so the mine was hit. We're just going to have to do it to him. There we go. We took a little bit more damage there than I would have liked, um, especially since we only have uh, 700 max HP. But you know what? We're still trucking forward, and we're gonna beat. We're gonna beat Saffron. We're coming for. Her. Gain four spell power, lose four defense. Do we have a defense upgrade? We do have this defense upgrade, so it would basically just negate our Saigon armor, and then we have this upgrade for defense. Um, the problem is I'm not feeling confident enough in the amount of health that we have to do the defense hit. So we're gonna take Saffron on. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is level up our that. Oh, I killed my own turret. I forget that I have a turret sometimes, and so a lot of the times. Oh. Alright, Saffron. Take the mine that you're never gonna get hit by. Do some revenge. Oh. So it's interesting that you can see the spell that's gonna be over her head, because she's like, you know, the, the title char the title character. We're gonna take a bunch of shield off of that. Okay. Um Cold potato, cold potato. Nope, I took that damage on that. We're gonna get some damage off there. I'd like to do this. Oh, I was so worried about getting the damage down that we didn't even consider. No heals, really, no heals. Okay, so none of our um, companions were defensive, it looks like. So this is the first run that we've had with Terra. Um, it looks to be about a 30 minute run. Um, it was kind of deep, but not quite as deep as I think we would have liked. We were kind of strong. Where we really got hurt was honestly purchasing that um, upgrade for health. I think that was something that, that was kind of a rookie mistake on not knowing that that's what a dark run does. And then also I focused way too much on damage in that last fight. So we have a blood shield for future runs. Gain two poison, ten shield every second until you move. That's interesting. Um, acupuncture, can I apply fragile, which is a solid solid way to build a kunai deck mason jar apply fragile to everyone whenever you go below one mana and then grip tape kunais cost one mana but deal double damage i don't know that i want that because that's actually going to slow down those kunai decks uh thank you very much for watching if you stuck around through the whole video feel free to drop a like or a comment let me know what i'm doing right let me know what i'm doing wrong i appreciate the support either way and there will be more of this content on the way
see you in the next one.